a young backpacker. Are you there, Alec? Suffers a terrible attack. It was one of the worst episodes I've seen. Mid-afternoon, and a volunteer lifesaver approaches the lifeguard tower. Straight away, we grab our medikit and, and we go down to check out what's happening. Uh, Trapper, he's, um, he's conscious, he's breathing, he's just sort of mid fit. I'm going to have a look if he's got any um, medication for it. When we have patients having episodes, our, our primary adjustment for them is, is their own care. Depending on the severity of them, they can last from 30 seconds or a substantial amount of time. You're right there, Alex. Alex came to the beach with some fellow backpackers he's only recently met. He hasn't been drinking alcohol, no drugs, no nothing today. A bit of hot room. A bit hungover, a bit of, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Any number of triggers can cause a seizure. Have you guys seen him eat anything today? Uh, I think got a coffee, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. The club is getting an hand right now. Seizures occur when nerve cells fire more rapidly than usual, momentarily acting like an electrical disturbance in the brain. It, it was confronting, you know, he bit his tongue, there was a lot of fluid, he was thrashing around. Yeah, we just got to really monitor yeah. him, make sure yeah. his airway's clear. Seizures which last longer than five minutes are classified as a medical emergency. He's just probably biting on his tongue or his head. Alex's seizure has now been going for 10 minutes. I'll take the head if you want. I have come across episodes like this that have lasted a substantial amount of time. And when they do, you basically can cook yourself and cause some major neurological damage. Got to really monitor yeah. him, make sure yeah. his airway's clear. Yeah. yeah, and he just goes through it, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's, and that's it's, really he's going through it more now. Of, you're right there, Alex. Not much we can do. Yeah. Try and relax. Lifeguards have limited experience in treating cases like this. Unfortunately, we're not doctors, we're not paramedics. We can just turn up and be that first responder until the paramedics come. The seizure has now been going for 15 minutes. Basically, with episodes like this, they can lead into brain damage. I know it's crucial that the paramedics turn up or this guy's in serious danger. As Beardy holds out for the ambulance, the seizure has now been going for 30 minutes. Now, that, this is the sleep stage of it. Yeah. The body's in absolute survival oh, yeah. fight mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, relief seems to be in sight as the convulsions ease. When the patient starts showing signs that he is coming through the episode, it, it is a little bit of a relief, but I know from experience that it's very crucial to keep monitoring the vital signs, monitoring the airway. How are you? How are you going? Paramedics arrive to find an awake but confused and disoriented patient. Alex, do you remember what I told you my name was before? Alex? It's almost like hitting restart on a computer. There's a bit of a time to, to reboot the system and work out what's going on. We've just got some oxygen on for you, Alex. In his dazed condition, Alex resists the paramedics. So just, just, just let him go for a second. Okay. You got his arm there? Yeah, all right. Clear that off. Right. Do you want us to strap him down? Yep. All right, let's As best we can. Okay, so I'll get us nice and tight. One, two, three. Yep. All right, go ahead first. Unfortunately, strapping him to the board so he doesn't injure himself yep. Yep. is crucial. Everything's under control. All right. We just got you on a board just to get you off the beach, all right? Everything's OK, you're not in trouble. OK, we're just trying to look after you. Unfortunately, when we were loading Alex into the ambulance, he was slipping back into this episode. Yep. Keep, Keep, down. Keep going. But it was good to see him go off and receive yep. the advanced care that he needs. We don't often hear about the outcome of patients we treat, but hopefully Alex is doing OK and he's continuing on his trip around Australia.